Hey everybody and welcome back to Embird Studio. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to do a little more cool work in Embird Studio and we're going to convert a whole bunch of stitches and I'm going to show you how it's done. So the first thing we want to do is create something to work on. So let's create a shape, maybe a circle. So point, let's make it, you know, a decent size. Point, Let's do it here, let's do it here and close it. Doesn't look like a circle at all because I have the wrong settings. So if that happens to you, it's all straight and I was gonna pull out the curves, here's the culprit right here. We gotta turn the curves on. So let's X out of that. Let's, let's do that again as we say. Make sure the curves are on, thank you very much. Let's make a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I just want a circle-like shape. That's all I'm looking for. And match that up, or you can do this close one, that's just as easy. And I'm pretty sure there's a right click that you can do, finish object. There you go, done. So it's not really the greatest circle I have ever seen at all but that's okay let's generate the stitches okay so we have a circly shape let's cut a hole in it so i'm going to do the hole cutting tool and click uh i think i'm going to go here we don't have to do it too big and it doesn't have to be anything i'm not you know really trying to make a circle i just kind of want a shape to work with so there 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 you know why not move it over. I could play with it all day, but let's just call it. So hit enter and there you go and generate stitches. So we have a donut. We have a donut. What can we do with this donut? Let's see how big it is. Where it is? Oh, we're in millimeters. I'd have to switch that over. It's not a very big, it's not a very big donut. So this should work. So let's go up to the top to convert. So there's all these things you can do, which is really cool if you want to change around or just look at different things. Now, depending on what you have will be grayed out. So there's only so many things we can do because it's a fill stitch. So create outline from fill. Let's click on that one. There were shortcuts there. And it doesn't look like anything happened at all, but if you look over here, you see what happened and if we move it we can see what happened it literally created an outline from the fill and i think that is probably one of the handiest tools ever handiest tools ever just to quickly create an outline so i changed the colors on it and uh, i'm going to move it over so that's one we created an outline so let's select it again let's go to convert create column from fill and that should work did it work it just does it separately so that's not generated so it keeps the first one i keep forgetting it keeps the first your original one and it produces another one so let's generate it and look what we did we created column stitches from the fill so let's go back to our original one and let's try something else let's go create fill from opening so what that does is this is the opening in the fill stitches and it's going to create fill from the opening and generate and look what it did filled it so if you were doing opposites or something like that or you know you wanted this to kind of stand out in a different way that would be how you do it so create fill from opening any opening and it works really well so we've created that it's almost a face now that's how much we've created so let's go to convert if there's anything fill to somato i don't think we'll do that one it just will make it a somato stitch so let's click this one and convert because now if you look we have a whole bunch of different options because we have 
the satin stitches. So we can take the column stitches or the satin stitches and convert it to applique. So let's go there. It doesn't look any different, but it is an applique. You can see that it is. Look at all this busy stuff right here. So we can do that. So I want to undo that. So edit, undo, control Z is the, the um, shortcut key for that. Uh, Ember's got a lot of shortcuts. You can remember them. So that was one. So you can create, if you have a satin stitch, an outline, you can convert it to an applique. Then you can split it into layers. So column to outline, hmm, you can convert the column back to a fill stitch if you wanted to, if you changed your mind as to how you want it to be. And we end up, you know, full circle on that one. So let's undo it and, and make sure we went, we did go over everything. We could probably create another outline. So didn't that undo? Undo undo there we go sorry about that i didn't undo enough so select something now if you are on your workspace like this and you go hey convert isn't available what's going on it's because you have to select something you have to select it so convert split applique into layers applique to column column to outline that's we can just do that we didn't show that before. So that is now going to be an outline. And when, if you notice, that's a little different. When I converted this one to outline, it just made two outlines and they, they are separate of each other. So you can do different things with it. When you have a column stitch and you do it, it's all one piece. Do you see that? It's all one piece because column stitches are done this way. If you can see the motion, it's done this way. So they're different and it puts a line in it as opposed to the fill stitches, which kind of fill that way. So that's a whole bunch of things that you guys can use to convert quickly and easily here inside Embird Studio. And hopefully it'll save you guys a little bit of time for you know when you're working on stuff that you don't have to start again you can just convert it so thanks everyone for watching i hope you guys like this video i hope it helps you guys out in ember thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video